let's go to our second example on future values i'm going to go to the next slide and there is my second example for the future value formula okay let's see what it says and also see if you understand why i'm going to use a future value formula okay let's read edwin decides to save a constant amount at the end of each month he opens a saving account at the end of the month he receives his first salary this is quite a disciplined guy because he is immediately after he gets his first salary starting to save the bank offers an interest rate of 4.7 per cent per annum compounded monthly Right, let's look at our first question for future value. Okay, 2.1. Let's see if we can do the second example. Edwin decides to save. People, he decides to save. So what are you immediately knowing? What do you immediately know? It's a future value formula. Immediately grab your formula sheet and write down the future value formula. It's X, open up the bracket, 1 plus i to the power of n minus 1 over i. Everybody, you wrote down that formula. You've got the example written down. It says he decides to save a constant amount at the end of each month. He opens up a savings account and he gets 4,7% per annum per, um, interest rate compounded monthly. Now look, determine the amount he has to save monthly. Determine the amount that Edwin has to save monthly to have 40,000 Rand in his savings account at the end of six years. Let's read that slowly. Edwin wants to save an amount every month. He wants to know how much must I save every month. He's looking for X. You are looking for X. You do not know what X is. How much must I save every month? I'm looking for X. Okay. How much money does he want in his account? Grade 12, at read, determine the amount he has to save monthly to have 40,000 Rand in his savings account. So his future value that he wants in his account is 40,000 Rand. So the 40,000 Rand goes into the place of F. You are looking for X. Let's just see why you're looking for X again. It says, how much money must he save every month to have this 40,000 Rand in his savings account? Okay, so X, I do not know what it is. It's 1 plus. Okay, let's go look at our interest rate. What's my interest rate? 4,7%. So it's 0, 0, 0,047%. That goes into the place of I. How is this interest rate compounded? It is compounded monthly. So you are dividing by 12. Close your bracket with me, grade 12s. Look at that N quickly. I'm going to write it in a different color for you. Let's use a bright red. Six years. Can I just write that six there? Can I just write six? Of course you can't. It must be six multiplied by I divided by 12 years so I multiply by 12 fantastic minus 1 close your bracket there and we are dividing by I said that I is the same as this one so my interest rate is 0, 0,047 divided by 12 okay everybody my unknown in the sum is x. I do not know what x is. Remember, Edwin wants to know how much money must he save every month. So he's looking for x so that he can have 40,000 Rand in his account after how many years? Six years. Again, why did I say 6 times 12? I said, I said 6 times 12 because my interest rate is compounded monthly. Okay. Now, everybody, just a little bit of algebra here. You are looking for X. So I'm going to give you a, the best way I think to get X is because you're looking for X, write X alone. X is equal to 40,000 multiplied by this divided by that bracket. I'm going to say this again. You have an equal to sign so you can cross multiply. So X is 40,000 multiplied by what? 
multiplied by 0, 0,047 over 12. And you divide it by that big bracket there, everybody. 1 plus 0, 0,047 over 12 to the power of 72 minus 1. There you go. So you have to now put all of this in your calculator and you must now see what answer you get to. I just want to say that Kalem, you are from school 9060, you already SMS through the answer of 481 Rand and 90 cents and that is absolutely perfect. This is so, so good. Kalem, I am very proud of you. You are from Bridgetown High and he needs to have 400 81,98 cents. Let's discuss this value. This is the value Edward needs to make a saving into his account every month. This 481,98 Edward needs to deposit into his account every month. So at the end of six years, he will have 40,000 Rand. Grade 12s, do you all understand this is a future value? It's a future value because you're saving for the future. 